Today, I'll be talking about analog devices, new nanopower modules, their benefits and features, and a demonstration of their evaluation kits. Hello, my name is Chinmay Hoon Rao. I'm a business manager in the core products group at Analog Devices. And today, I'll be introducing our nanopower micro slick modules. We recently introduced two modules, the Max M38643 nanopower buck module and the Max M17225 nanopower boost module. Both these modules combine our ultra low IQ nanopower ICs with an integrated inductor in a tiny 2.1 by 2.6 millimeter package. Now let's look at some of the major benefits of modules. First, with industry's lowest IQ and highest efficiency, these modules help extend battery life of always on devices. Next, by having an integrated inductor in a tiny package, these modules are easy to use and ideal for space constraint designs. Lastly, with a wide input voltage range and a resistor selectable output, these modules offer design flexibility as a single part number can be used across multiple use cases. Now let's look at each of these parts and their main features. The Max M38643, the nanopower buck module, has an input voltage range going from 1.8 to 5.5 volts and supports output voltages which are resistor selectable from 0.7 to 3.3 volts. This module supports load currents of up to 600 milliamps with a no load quiescent current of 330 nanoamps and a shutdown current of 1 nanoamp. This part has a peak efficiency of 96% and efficiency as high as 88% even at 10 microamp loads. This part is offered in a 10 pin 2.1 by 2.6 millimeter EMGA package and has an operating temperature range of minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. Next, the Max M17225 nanopower boost module has an input voltage range going from 0.4 to 5.5 volts and boosts it up from 1.8 to 5 volts. This part has a peak inductor current limit of 1 amp and an ultra low IQ of 300 nanoamps with a shutdown current of only 0.5 nanoamps. The Max M17225 has a peak efficiency of 95% and this part comes with a true shutdown feature. This part is also offered in a 10 pin 2.1 by 2.6 millimeter EMGA package and it has an operating temperature range going from minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. Now I'll pass it over to Bill who will demonstrate the evaluation kits for these modules. Hi everyone, my name is Bill Quach. Uh, I'm an application engineer with analog device. Today I'm going to show you how to bring up the Max M38643 a EV kit. To bring up the Max M38643A EV kit, we need three pieces of equipment. We need a power supply, we need an electronic load, and a digital multimeter. Before connecting the EV kit to the equipment, uh, we will first need to make sure that the jumpers are uh, configured correctly. Jumper JE1 should have a shunt connected between pins 1 and 2 to enable the EV kit. Jumper JU2 will uh, select the output voltages. Currently, jumper JU2 has a shunt connected between pins 1 and 2, which will configure the uh, EV kit output to be 1 volt. After the equipment uh, is connected properly, uh, we will set the uh, power supply to uh, 1.8 volt, which is the input to the EV kit. The uh, electronic load is set to be 100 milliamp. Turn on the power supply, and the output will measure 1 volt. To have a different output voltage uh, from the EV kit, we can uh, reconfigure the jumper JU2 so that it will give a different output voltage. Uh, in addition to the uh, Max M38643A, which is a step down converter, uh, we will also uh, show you the uh, step up version. Uh, the step up version of the converter is the Max M17225 EV kit. Uh, the equipment required for the Max M17225 EV kit is the same as the uh, Max M17225 
uh, 6463A, uh, which are th uh, three p uh, pieces of equipment, the power supply, electronic load, and DMM. Uh, setting can be, uh, uh, can be uh, set up as the same. You we can set up uh, the uh, power supply to be 1.8 volt, and same uh, electronic load to be 100 milliamp. Uh, for the uh, step up version, the output will be stepped up to 3.3 volts. Uh, for additional information, please refer to our website uh, for the IC datasheet and the EV kit datasheet. Thank you for watching.